friends. So today I'm in my mom's garden picking raspberries. You can see these raspberry bushes right here have a lot of fresh raspberries on it. And these bushes have already produced, I would say three or four quarts so far. You can see back behind there, the elderberries, they're gonna bloom in a couple months. But today I'm focusing in on raspberries. So you can see the sweet ones are the really dark ones that look like almost purplish. And I have to tell you the best way to eat these is in a bowl fresh with a little bit of milk or if you wanna get really crazy cream and some sugar on top. Oh, they are just delicious in the heat of summer. So you can see that there are stalks that have berries on them and stalks that don't. The stalks that don't have berries on them are called primocanes like this one. It's in its first year of growth. So next year, this stalk will have berries on it. These over here, the ones with berries hanging, are called floricane. But anyways, I am going to enjoy picking these berries today. I am focusing in on making some raspberry spritzer, carbonated water with raspberry syrup. And I'm gonna show you how to do that here pretty soon. But we are going to have so much fun getting all these raspberries off today and making some good treats with it. Okay, so we are gonna be making some raspberry syrup to add to carbonated beverages. I call this a fruit spritzer. So in this case, I will call this a raspberry spritzer. It is so awesome. There are lots of recipes available on the web, but all we need to do is just use a ratio of two parts berries to one part sugar. So after rinsing your berries, place them in a large pot. We threw in a few blackberries, which are just starting to ripen in the garden. Next, add the sugar. And you can experiment with your sugar and make it sweeter by adding more sugar or make it less sweet by adding less sugar. Then add two tablespoons of lemon juice. We will then cover just above the berries with some water and we'll start cooking. So while the berry mixture is heating up, stir in and use a potato masher to press the juice from the berries. No need to boil in this step. Next, we will squeeze out all of the juice from the seeds by straining the hot mixture through a sieve. You can also use some cheesecloth in the sieve. We will return the strained juice to the pot and bring it to a low boil. We will boil this for about 15 minutes. Now we're going to let the syrup cool down, skim the foam off the top and pour into your favorite jars. So just kind of a note, the syrup will be very thin, but as it cools, it will become just the right consistency for drinks. And you will want to store this in the fridge. I keep mine, it lasts for two to three weeks fresh, and then you'll want to make a new batch. Hi. So I'm in my kitchen and I am going to make a raspberry spritzer. This is what you just saw being made. My mom made this wonderful raspberry syrup specifically for us to use in my new soda stream that I got for my birthday. My brother Daniel bought me this for my birthday and it's been so wonderful making raspberry spritzers from the fresh raspberries that were picked in my mom's garden. So here it is. I'm gonna give it a really good stir because it's been sitting in my refrigerator. So what I do, it kind of depends on how sweet you want your spritzer. So if you like really sweet drink, you need to put a whole lot more. But if you're either worried about your sugars or you're trying to keep it low calorie, you just put a little bit and it still tastes wonderful regardless of you know ultra sugary, ultra sweet, 
or just the flavor of raspberries, but mostly just the carbonated water. I'm personally a sweet freak and I love sweet drinks, probably to my detriment a little bit. So I'm gonna show you how I do this. So I went up to start by saying that the soda stream comes with this nice little bottle, which has a really heavy duty cap. I just rinsed this bottle out here. And then the soda stream itself looks like this. And inside, you can see that there's this canister. Specifically, it's a carbon dioxide cylinder and it's a 60 liter cylinder. So you can get these off of Amazon. So just to let you know, this 60 liter canister can make about 60 of these. So 60 liters, you know the canister will last that long and you can kind of do the math, but if you like sparkling water or if you like sodas or homemade sodas, pretty cheap to make these as compared to buying a, you know, six pack or a 12 pack of sodas or sparkling water at the store. So it's economical as well. And it's just wonderful. You can try all different kinds of recipes for sparkling water. So what I'm gonna do, I'm not gonna be completely accurate when I figure out how much I'm gonna put in here, but I like mine sweet. And so I'm gonna fill it up to about there with my syrup. I'm just gonna taste it to tell you how sweet it is. It's very sweet, mm, but it's good. So the sparkling water is definitely needed. You can't really drink this stuff straight because it is very concentrated. So I'm gonna pour about that much, and then I'm gonna fill this up with some water. You have to be careful to fill it up to the fill line here. So you can do this one of two ways. You can make your sparkling water in here and then fill it up here, which is perfectly fine, or you can make it together, which would be having an entire liter of this. I'm gonna just do an entire liter. You find better ways to do things, don't you? All right, so that's how I usually do it. So I just basically fill it up and I'm gonna go ahead and shake it up as well. Isn't that gorgeous, that color? Just pretty. Okay, so then what you do, I've gotta put my soda stream back together again here. All right, so what you do is you put it through this hole, leave the top off. I'm always scared that I didn't get it in quite right. Okay. So we're there, and what you do is basically touch this button three times. Here goes. One. It looks like I filled it up just a little too much. Two. Three. Look at that thing bubbling. All right, I'm gonna get some fresh ice in here and let's try it out. Let's try this out. Oh, delicious. And you can see that I didn't put a whole lot in this liter thing. I put, I would say, maybe a quarter cup of syrup. So this is probably not as sweet as I would normally do it. I would probably put a little bit more next time, maybe about a half cup of syrup for the liter. But this is a wonderful, crisp, refreshing taste. The carbonation is just wonderful. I don't know about you guys, but I just love the bite of carbonated water. I don't know, I just love it. I love it, especially with fruit flavors. So anyways, I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you enjoyed seeing my mom's garden, how we make this wonderful syrup, all of her wonderful raspberries, and I hope you enjoy your weekend. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed, I'd love to have you. Click that little notification bell so that you know when my videos do come out. Anyways, I will see you next time. Have a wonderful week. Bye.